Hey guys, I got a couple things in the mail today that I thought I'd share with you. I'm pretty excited about these. They're they're uh, nothing super spectacular, but they're pretty cool. So let me get them open and see what they are. Okay, I've got the first one open, and it is a Walking Liberty half dollar, a 1917 Denver on the obverse. There's the mint mark right there. Walking Liberty half dollar. It's pretty slick, but uh, I needed it for my album. And it was a good price, so I thought, why not? All right, let's check out the other one. Okay, I've got the next one open, and it is another Walking Liberty half dollar. This one is a 1920 out of Philly. Again, I needed it for my album, and it was a really good price. So I thought, why not? Let's do it. So let me go get my album out, and we will add these two to the album. I realized I called this a 1917 Denver. This is a 1917 San Francisco. I don't know if you can zoom in enough to see it, but it is an S for sure. All right, I've got my album out, and I added the 1917 right there. Looks very nice. And I added the 1920 right there. And now I'm two coins closer to having a complete album. It's looking good. All right. Well, that'll be it for this mail call. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next mail call. Hey guys, I got a little mail call here. Got a couple things in the mail today that I thought I'd share with you. Uh, let's get into them. Let's start with the little one here first. Okay, I've got it open, and uh, this is something I have very recently featured on one of my other mail calls, um, but I decided to buy another one because it popped up in my eBay uh, uh, feed. So, it is a Warren 1913D. It's got a mint mark there. You can see it. It's very worn, very low quality coin, but uh, it's a hole filler. Um, I needed it for my dad's Buffalo set, so I'm going to put that in there. So, like I said, this will just be a hole filler until I come across one that is a... Uh, of better quality. All right, let's get to the other envelope. Okay, I've got the second one open, and this is something I've been featuring a lot lately. Um, but I'm trying to collect a set, and when I see one I need for a good deal, I'll buy one. So it is a large scent from 1818. It's in pretty bad condition. It's got a partial hole right there, but it doesn't go all the way through. But I thought it was good enough detail for me to get, and it was a good price. And uh, I, f I felt like the date was nice and clear, and I liked that. Uh, so I figured, why not? Let's just do it. it. It wasn't that expensive. I think I paid maybe 10 bucks for it or something like that. Uh, but I'm happy with it. So I'm always happy to have something this old. It's really cool. I, I, I really like these coins. So I'm going to keep going and try to try to get a set of these. All right. Well, thank you for watching today. Oh, I'm going to go get my album out. We'll put that in there. All right. I've got my uh, dad's old set, my, my second set of Buffalo Nickels, and I put the 1913 right there. Um, I still need the 13S and uh, both versions and a few other random ones here. 14, 17, 19, 21. I think there's one over here. Yeah, 25D. Oh, no, two. 31S and the 25D. All right, well, that'll wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next mail call.